You know that the public absolutely despises you when even an act of charity for injured veterans could somehow still bring you hate rather than admiration. And let's all agree that there is literally just one couple on the planet who could possibly mess up such a noble act. Yep, we're back with more incredibly shocking news about the Has Couple, who this time have apparently got banned for using military footage without permission on their brand new Netflix documentary series. Which makes us wonder, is the so-called ban an actual error from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, or a much larger piece of a puzzle that we're all missing out on? Catch up on all of this and more, only on today's video. Meghan and Harry are no guests when it comes to creating controversial Netflix documentary series, but this time around, the couple actually wanted to do something meaningful and helpful to society. The former prince and his wife allegedly signed their very first deal with Netflix in 2022 through the couple's Archwell Productions for a show on athletes competing in The Hague of 2022. The show was decided to be named as the Invictus Games and had Harry appear on camera as the executive producer on The Heart of Invictus did seem like a wise choice as Prince Harry has previously served in the British military as part of his royal duties in Afghanistan. But what makes the Invictus Games special? Well, the Invictus Games isn't just your regular sports show, and what makes the Invictus truly unique are its athletes, and we aren't talking about any athletes here. The participants of the Invictus Games were injured military veterans, which got the show brownie points and a special place in all our hearts. The series was produced to showcase behind-the-scenes stories of athletes who served as soldiers in Afghanistan for the military personnel in action. The organizers of the show will also play an important role in the series, and their journeys and hardships will be documented as they prepare for the event, which has been delayed until next spring due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This series is definitely one of the better things that the couple has signed up for, as it doesn't involve the bashing and degradation of the royal family nor the duel playing their age-old victim and race car. In fact, it isn't even an exaggeration to claim that their major source of income at this point is by resorting to cheap publicity stunts and playing blame games with the entire British monarchy. How could one forget Harry's autobiography, Spare, which is currently a New York bestseller, and all the awful and delusional things that the ex-prince mentioned about his own family? However, the very first time that the couple try to create something which does not involve them announcing themselves as victims to the world, things had to go south. The Invictus series is speculated to be banned by the Netflix organization as it has utilized several military footage without legal permission by the authorities. In a world where even the silliest YouTube videos could give you a copyright strike for using their content, it does seem pretty lame that a multi-million dollar brand like Netflix just failed to attain permission to use footage throughout a high investment show. The news does make one wonder if the story that has come out is the actual reality or is there a lot more than what meets the eye. However, the show and its cause are truly applauded despite all the obstacles it's been bombarded with. The series will give communities around the world a window into the moving and uplifting series of these competitors on their path to the Netherlands next year," said Harry in a statement. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, along with the Archwell Productions team, are building an ambitious slate that reflects the values and causes they hold dear, said Netflix content chief Ted Sarandos. From the moment I met them, it's been clear that the Invictus Games hold a very special place in their hearts, and I couldn't be happier that their first series for Netflix will showcase that for the world in a way never before seen. Ban or no ban, we really hope that the show gets through and pays tribute to all the soldiers who risked their lives to keep us safe. What are your thoughts about Invictus Games? Are you happy that Megan and Harry are part of the show? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to never miss an update from us about a lot more celebrity drama and news.